I'm Eric and I'm going to show you how to paint a brick wall using a spray gun. I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint the exterior of your house without spending thousands of dollars on professional painters. This brick was really popular in the 90s and it looks great, but we just want to freshen it up a little bit by giving it a lick of paint. For this project, you're going to need a spray gun, tin of paint, bucket, safety gear, tape, paintbrush, roller, paint tray, and a paint stirrer. Prepare your paint for the spray gun by giving it a good stir first. I'll be pouring the paint into a smaller bucket and then diluting it with about 10% water so we get a nice fine spray with the spray gun. Now mix your water and paint together. You can add more water or more paint until you're happy with the consistency. You don't want it too runny or too thick. First thing you need to do is tape up any areas that you don't want the paint to go. I've diluted my paint with water and I'm really happy with the consistency. Now I'll pour the paint into the spray gun and it will start painting. Make sure the nozzle is going to spray the direction that you want to spray. The bricks run side to side, so I'm going to adjust the spray pattern to go side to side as well. This consistency is good. It's not too thick and not too thin. So now I can paint the whole wall. Spray your wall from one end to the other and don't start in the middle. You want to keep the spray gun at an even distance from the wall during the paint job. It's a lot more comfortable to use your arm to spray, not just your wrist. Be careful of your overspray. You don't want to spray too close to your gutters and windows. Now that we've got the first coat on, I'm going to use a brush and a roller to get around our gutter. I'm going to be using the paint straight from the tin, not the diluted paint. When using a roller, start painting W's and then come back over it with M's. This ensures a nice even coat and spreads the paint out nicely. Grab your brush and cut in along the gutter line. Now that your first coat's dry, change the spray pattern on your spray gun by twisting the nozzle. This will make sure that you get all the nooks and crannies. We've got two coats of paint on the house and now we can take off the tape and job's done. I've done this easily myself and I've saved a packet. The paint looks awesome and it's totally transformed this house from an old pile of bricks to a brand new castle. 